it's second down. Well, this defense for the Rams, they played extremely well last week in that win over Green Bay. But we certainly had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like what we did, but we definitely need more pressure on the quarterback this week. Now left side on the swing pass. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. This defense for the Rams, they played extremely well last week in that win over Green Bay. Yeah, they held them to well under 200 yards of total offense, and in today's NFL, that's a feat to be proud of, especially with the emphasis on offense and what we're seeing each and every week, that great creativity and usual productivity. Looking down oh, for the oh, and he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Hunter Nicewander on the punt now on fourth down. <sighs> Three times in the loss last week as he says block, block. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, eight-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And you know, there's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the Really great protection. This really great protection. Good for 10 yards Our O line is dominating. One, seven, three, the score. Again. Play action. Stafford. And he'll find Henderson there. It's complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. So, CD, you talk about this football team. And some of the whispers and reports, the social media posts, they hint at a locker room that's splintered, badly splintered. There was talk earlier. Some guys might walk away entirely. But that hasn't happened, oh, however. There's Whitworth injured. You know, and sometimes some of that talk is just that. Talk. I mean, guys often say that's Gotta it. Got to be careful here. here. And then they realize, I'm not ready to retire yet. What am I going to do now? And they're really ready to come back and dive back. And the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. Caleb on chase on. Able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, he I ran right into it. Like he was out of a cannon from that linebacker position. And that was my own fault. Back in the backfield, no one could stop him. Well, you certainly diagnosed that play perfectly. My fault. As fast as he got into the backfield, you're exactly right. The running back had no shot to get over and try to protect his quarterback, and a sack resulted. 36 yards on the punt with no return, and it'll be Jaguar football as they take over deep in their own territory. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Pressure. It'll be interesting to see where the pressure on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? To throw again on second down, Lawrence. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. The Jaguars on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. From the shotgun, Lawrence. He'll fight his man, LaVisca Chanel. Nope. And they'll hustle up to stop him. One passing yard. Right around the 15. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And the Jaguars send out their punter, standing just about on his own goal line. 
first kick, 47. This one looks good as well. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40 yard punt, 10 on the return. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50. First and 10. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is... Now the ball comes loose, and the Jags grab it. And they will set up shop at their own 47. I think I was down. And great effort. And does he get burned for that in film? He fought through some tackles. In result, though, a fumble. It's going to be one of those situations where he'll get yelled at about the fumble. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make it's sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors. Yeah, Remember, he was down. Possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Yeah. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. They'll try the jet sweep. Stafford pops it forward. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. Shaquille Griffin in on the stop defensively. From the 38, Stafford. They'll get this one to cop complete. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They were zooming past that number there. I think now they're in man. Make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Throwing a Stafford. And he'll be hit as yeah. he man blitz. Yeah. Incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Escaping the and he's gonna take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Matthew Stafford taking it in from seven yards away. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it and took off. Great play by him. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. All right. Looking good, feeling good. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. Yeah, Stafford would never do any of that celebrating like that, but okay. Matter of fact, I don't know many quarterbacks that would do that aside from, like, Cam Newton and, like, Maybe Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. Maybe. A play fake for Robinson. Now Lawrence. Complete. It's Johnson. How did he stay in bounds? Burst, a first down and more. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to wow. pass the 45. A good pick up there. He was left yards. alone. When I say alone, he was left alone. To feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 40, and they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn? In traffic. Understand this. You saw zone in college. 
and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. After the interception, here's Stafford. This is caught. It's Woods. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 at a first down. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make Go sure Henderson. he gets picked off. And then you can't catch up in time yeah. to prevent the completion. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Nice little dump off there. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. On second down now, it's Henderson. And this looks a lot like the Ran right into Caleb on chase on. He's tackled for the second straight go around. Great job by this Jacksonville D. Ran right into him. <laughs> Basically tackled myself. And the Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. The shotgun snap for Stafford. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Jacksonville's pass defense holds serve. Fourth down. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, this phase is not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball down the field as well. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. Travis Etienne not playing at all. It's kind of one of the things that they need to address in updates is, like, teams with multiple running backs using them. Because all these teams that have multiple running backs, they only use the starter until the starter gets tired. Like, Travis Etienne's a first-round pick. He's going to be a part of their offense. And yet, you'd never see him. Johnson, the intended target, but it'll be second down. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. And he fins him off. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. So now after the sack of Lawrence, the Jags looking at a third and long. On third down, it's Robinson. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. We'll check on his status when we get back. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And he's able to get this to the Almost got it. I almost had it. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. In field position, they take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. 
How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On first and ten, Stafford. That'll be caught. Get in, Cup. Touchdown. Did he get in? Did Cup get in? That play was awesome. Oh man, let's look at that again. Immediately broke the tackle and kept going. Oh, they didn't even show the end of the play. That was awesome. We are in playoff form. I know it's just the Jaguars. But we also played Green Bay last week and we crushed them. So we are in playoff form now. I'm finally getting hang of On first down, Lawrence. passing the ball. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Lawrence going to give this to Robinson, draw play. And the Rams defense gets to him again behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is dropped. <laughs> no. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gain on his sights, but he could not reel it in. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let him get anything started. He had it. A first down. Instead, you saw the contact. On he had it, but Raph knocked it out. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Thirty-seven yards on the punt with no return, and the Rams are going offense here for the first and ten. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. The linebacker, Miles Jack, able to knock that one away. To throw once more on second and ten. Stafford. Open man right side is cut complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Out of the gun, Stafford. And the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this. That timeout round. made no sense. Johnny Hacker now as he'll punt it away for the second time. A 45-yard punt for there Let's on go, the return. Go. And there will be time for maybe one final play before halftime. They're going to do a Hail Mary from the... Uh, what? What is going on? And with Lawrence's arm, they may give him a shot to let this thing rip downfield. We'll see. Going deep for Eifert. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. 
As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. I need to run the ball in the second right, half. Brandon, thank you very much. We're starting to get near the home stretch of this NFL season. It's week 13. We now proceed to the start of the second half. Both these teams, no doubt, making their final halftime adjustments as we speak. And for the call of the second half, we get it back out to Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. They have Josh Lambeau as having a superstar ability. That's funny. Get this across the 20, but not much further go, as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they get the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's yeah, let's avoid turnovers. Let's run the ball. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. Play methodical. I want to have two games in a row with no turnovers. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Or do that. Or do that. Or do that. Let's go. CD, we have certainly seen this guy make some magic with the ball in his hands. He was that safety to took the worst the angle. Yards after the catch. Yeah, and that was sheer determination right there. He decided before the play, if there was a sliver, he was going to take advantage of it. Lift the ball Boom. In, turned on the Jets and took it all the way. That felt you good. You can see the distance traveled there after the catch on the next-gen stats. Gay is on for the point after. Oof, we are in blowout territory here. This is one of those. This is one of those stat padding games. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here comes the Jags. All right, what are you going to do, Trevor? What can you do at this point? You can give it to him. You can maybe let Travis Etienne play because he hasn't played at all except for a punt return, kick return. So tough because we always talk about it being a team game and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. Hey, Charlie! On second down, it's Robinson. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? They'll run again here with Robinson. And nice Robinson tackle. Will not get there. Great defense at the point of attack and a stop him short of the first. You gotta figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Boom. Leveled him. Drove him backwards. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. With it is Jackson. Call that a 